um, and that works fine. So that's what Make Note does. Um, we've come across Metro already, um, so there are a couple of things here which, well, this one is certainly familiar, but what it, what are these doing, this, this section here? Um, well, the the uh, what's contained in the message box here, uh, you might think is a list. It certainly looks like a list. There's a variety of um, items which are separated by spaces. However, the the items are also separated by commas, which means that they are all separated into separate messages to be sent out of the outlet. So instead of 60, 64, 67, and 12 all being sent at the same time, they are divided up so that 60 goes first, then 64, then 67, and then 12. Actually, that shouldn't be 12 at all. That should be 72. Change that quickly. Those are sent out almost simultaneously, but actually one after another. Um, and so what's the result of that? Let's lock the patch and then press this. We actually get a chord. All right, so 60 is sent um, into, we'll ignore this for the moment, into make note, which makes a, a note of um, 200 milliseconds at 127, uh, a velocity of 127, into note out and plays uh, what is actually a middle C. Then 64 is sent out which is um, an E above middle C, then 67, which is a G above middle C, and then a 72, which is a C an octave above. Um, so that, that's what happens. It's, 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 it's a way of making a, a chord. And of course, if we were to, um, to, to get Metro to play, uh, to trigger it every 200 milliseconds, we would get that chord repeating at fairly short intervals. So what happens if I get rid of those commas altogether? Let's do that quickly. that. Well, um, this is now a list. Uh, so 60, 64, 67 and 72 will all be sent at exactly the same time into the plus object. Now, the plus object can only deal with two items. It can deal with the, um, the left hand side of the plus and the right hand side of the plus, if you like. Um, so it will, it will certainly get rid of two of those items. The first two, so 60 and 64, will become its um, the numbers that it's adding up. So 60 will go to the left-hand side, 64 will go to the right-hand side. Um, so in, in effect, it's like sending 60 to the leftmost inlet and 64 to the rightmost inlet. Um, and they will add up. So what, what you'll come out with is 124, which will be sent to make note, and it will play the note 124. Um, so we'll try that the patch again and you should hear ding, um, a very high pitched note um, so that's what's happening there um, if you uh, if, if you send things as a list they will kind of divide themselves across the inlets of a an object that's receiving them um, so I'm gonna I don't actually want that to happen so I'm going to replace the commas and I'm going to reinitialize the plus object because otherwise it's going to give me um, an outcome I don't want for the time being. Okay, so now we're back to playing a chord. So what's happening on this side? Um, well, this is a drunk object, um, and it's a it's a means of, of of generating numbers. And this is where I'm going to come up to these three objects up here. Um, and they're probably not in the best order, the most intuitive order. What would be better if I went to this way around? Oops, like that. So we've come across counter already. And uh, counter counts between the, uh, well, if there's two arguments in it, between the leftmost argument and the rightmost argument. So this would count from 0 to 11 and then go back and start at 0 again. Um, and keep doing that for as long as you send it messages to tell it to count. So that's a num number generator, but it counts. Then you have a random number generator. And uh, this uh, generates random numbers or as many random numbers as the argument that you specify. So in this case, it will generate 12 random numbers. Um, and those random numbers will be between 0 and the number 1 less than the number that you put in here. Why is that? Because random generates 12 random numbers, but it starts at 0. So 
uh, so uh, 12 random numbers that include 0 will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 and that's 12 numbers um, so if you wanted to generate a random number between 1 and 12 um, you would need to add a 1 to that like that don't assume that you can put random and then the numbers between which you want it to calculate random numbers. That won't work. You have to put in random plus the number of random numbers you want it to generate and then plus one if you want it to be between one and that number that you've put in there. The same is true of drunk. That also generates random numbers. Um, so uh, and, and the same thing applies. So it will generate numbers between zero and one less than the first argument that you put in. The second argument that you put in is a step size between uh, between the numbers that it generates. So, for example, bearing in mind that it's number three, if the first number that it chose was a five, it could choose the numbers three, four, five, six, and seven. So three to either side, including the number that it's currently on. Um, if it then chose a seven, it could choose five, six, seven, eight, and nine. If it then chose an eight. Uh, it could choose six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and so on. Um, so one of those one of those uh, numbers to three to either side of the current number. Um, so essentially, what you get is a drunk walk um, around that random range. Um, so uh, so in, in in all three cases, if you wanted to um, have outcomes of between one and twelve, you would need to add one again to, to the drunk object and then with counter you but with counter you can you can actually tell it to count between one and twelve. So in, in counter you set limits to the count. In random and drunk you have to specify the number of um, numbers to generate and then add one in order to get it to fill fill the range of one to whatever number it is that you put in here. Again I hope that makes sense. So that's exactly what we've done here with the drunk um, but in this case, we do actually want it to um, go between 0 and 11, which is what it will do, um, because we want to effect a transposition of this chord that we've got coming out of this uh, message box here. So what will happen is that each number, bearing in mind we've replaced the commas in here, 60 plus, and then whatever's coming out of here, um, and then 64 plus whatever number's coming out of here, 67 plus whatever number's coming out of here, and 72 means that we will get a transposition of each of the notes in that chord. Um, so if it, at the moment it's, it's transposing by nothing, so we'll get our original chord. But if I were to increase by one, we get a chromatic change to all of the notes in that chord. Okay, so you can do kind of transpositions on this. In, incidentally, you can also minus, in, in spite of the fact that it's going into a, a plus object, you can go minus two, um, and that actually takes it down by two semitones. Um, so by we can automate that process, um, and bear in mind that the the calculation of transposition happens before remembering our right to left uh, order of events. The transposition happens before the sending of the chord. So notice that the drunk object is, is producing this drunk walk. If I were to replace that with a random object, and I could make and I could increase also the, the size of the uh, the range as well, so we'll make it twenty-four. lots of parallel octaves um, and or parallel chords which would have Bach turning his grave um, and uh, yeah I think that's all I need to cover there.